Hey babes. So, we're gonna get into a little bit of tarot. I'm going to be doing an all zodiac sign reading for messages from your spirit guides, y'all. This is a poll that I did earlier, uh, a couple weeks ago, I believe, at this point, and where I asked you guys what kind of zodiac readings y'all would like. And you guys wanted some spirit guide messages. So that is what I'm here to do. That is what I'm going to provide to you guys, y'all. Super excited. If you do enjoy this type of reading, this type of format, you guys, I listen to feedback. Let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoy this reading, or you just enjoy my vibe, darling. Remember that this reading is just here to give you some perspective, some food for thought to think, to think about but never making the choices in your life, darling, right? So in this reading, y'all, we're going to be getting into your spirit guide messages. Now, this is honestly, y'all, the part where a lot of people get a little bothered by. This is where I, whenever I do my weekly horoscopes for all the zodiac signs, I know I will push some people's buttons with my section from uh, feedback from your spirit guides because this is, your spirit guides, at least in my perception, are here to provide that tough love, to really give you that information that you need to hear um, to work on yourself, what you're doing that you need to hear about, just overall insight about your life um, to help elevate you. And it's not always going to be pretty, right? So we're going to have a nice balance, right? Me being a Libra Scorpio cusp, y'all, y'all know I love my balance. So we're going to touch on for each of the zodiac signs, all the zodiac signs, uh, messages for what it is that they need to be looking out for, what it is they need to be potentially working on. And then we're going to be touching in on what are the good things, what is in the works for you guys as well that you can be looking forward to. So if that is of interest to all my beautiful zodiac signs, then keep on watching. Hello, my beautiful Taurus. So let's start with you first. We're going to be seeing what messages your spirit guides have for you, what it is that you need to be looking out for. And immediately, Taurus, your card came flying out. We have Sophia coming forward, divine wisdom for you. Number, I believe this is 47. So in numerology, this would actually equal to 11, Taurus, a very powerful number, number 11, right? Look that number up in numerology later at a later point so you can see how this correlates for your reading. Taurus. So wisdom. This, there's definitely something coming forward. I feel almost as if Taurus, a re, uh, something that's been like a re repetitive pattern. I don't know if this is a situation for some of you guys, Taurus, of where maybe someone that you've given a second or third or fourth chance to, darling, of, you know, to act right. And they just are not acting right, darling. They're not living up to that task. They may be starting to bleed back into those old habits. I just get an overall, like, some type of repetitive cycle um, coming forward that just is of your best interest. That's just going to be kind of a... Uh, more of a hindrance to your life. So let's get into some tarot cards. As you can see, Taurus Darling, uh, the card is already trying to be coming out. Clarifiers to get a better idea. So the devil card coming right out, Taurus, this already speaks into that powerful message of, again, this devil card. I don't like to really criminalize people with this just because it's like the devil is very villainizing, but someone's falling into bad habits again. Now this could be you, Taurus, if we're gonna have that honest conversation now, right? Uh, hold yourself accountable. Are you sinking back into bad habits yourself? If this is not about you, then I feel like something that you gave a chance to at one point is seeping back into uh, going into these bad habits, darling. And this is almost a sign of like, you know, if this is an outside source, don't give this another chance. Be cutthroat at this time is something that I'm hearing. If this is about yourself, be cutthroat with yourself. Be more critical with yourself. Hold yourself to a higher standard, uh, Taurus. I know that's been a common theme for your weekly horoscope readings, not to call y'all out so badly, right? We have the King of Cups coming in here. So this is how you are handling the situation now. This is what it is that you need to be focusing in on, uh, Taurus. I feel like I even got this for your weekly reading of where uh, having a better hold 
uh, in terms of like where even with your life being as chaotic as it can be and feel for you uh, that you keep your head afloat, that you keep your head above water and you stay calm. You don't fall back into those bad habits like before, right? Just because you're having a stressful week, Taurus, that does not necessarily mean that you can just excuse uh, eating those uh, Twinkies, right, darling? Uh, going back into those bad habits, right? Not working out anymore. Calories still exist even if we're stressed, darling. Sometimes it feels like even when we're stressed, calories just like are like double the amount than normal, right? Because it feels like I always gain the most weight when I'm stressed. Tower card coming in in the reverse. So yeah, Taurus, this is coming in as a message. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to take this in from an internal message uh, for you, Taurus, of where look at look at what it is that you're doing that you're falling back into bad habits. Now, I feel like we're catching this early for you, Taurus, so don't worry too much, but uh, I do feel like it's extremely important for you to be have an honest conversation with yourself and see where you might be sinking back into those old habits that just are not of uh, good value to you. So now let's get into the good things in the works for you, Taurus. Let's see now. So we have the Coyote Spirit coming in for you. Uh, trust in Divine Detours, number seven for numerology. So definitely, uh, Taurus, your life, that makes sense as to why we're getting that Tower card as well for you, darling. Uh, with this Coyote Spirit, this is showing to me a message, Taurus, of where you're going to be redirected in your life. There's something going to be that's... I almost feel as if like a fork in the road is going to be coming into your life in a place that you aren't really anticipating. Like it's going to be just like appearing um, in a place that just you didn't see coming at all. Um, you're gonna be forced to having to make a decision and at the moment, in that moment, right? You may, you're may you obviously gonna have to think on your feet, darling, and it's gonna be a little bit more stressful, right? That's why you have that King of Cups, right? But it's in the name of some really good opportunity coming your way, let's see. Yeah, we have the world card coming in the reverse. This is almost like forcing you out of uh, cycles that you've been really resistant towards on doing. I feel like you guys have really been wanting to be comfortable for a little bit, darling. And this is your spirit guide. It's quite literally telling you, Taurus, to being like, no, you need to get out of your comfort zone. Um, but you need to look at new things. Page of Swords coming in as well. You need to, this is time to uh, bring in some fresh air, darling. Time to get out of your comfort zone. It's time for growth, honey. Ace of Cups coming in right this is a beautiful card to be coming in this is about a person right this is like letting go of this old situation um and accepting it not taking it personally anymore so you can allow this new love to come in this is about love or just new opportunity you have to be making space for it Taurus. you cannot be clinging on to these things that um are going or just way past its due date essentially Taurus. so yeah that is the reading that i have for you Taurus. if you enjoyed this be sure to let me know in the comments below if you'd like to book a private personal reading simplyvalka.com all my social media simplyvalka.com i love you so much bye all right my beautiful virgo how are you doing so let's get into your spirit guide messages let's see what it is that you need to be on the lookout for virgo what it is that you need to be working on with yourself let's see what's happening darling we have the White Buffalo Calf Woman. Now, Taurus got this re in their uh, weekly reading last week. Uh, and so this is number 50, equaling to five for numerology, Virgo. So write that number down. Uh, this card is all about reverence, darling. So let's get into the situation here. This is about how other people are perceiving you right now, uh, Virgo. This is all about uh, something. This is almost showing to me. Um, I almost want to suspect going off the cusp here, off just intuition before we pull any clarifiers which will hone in on this message I'm kind of suspecting um you have some potential i don't want to say jealous eyes i don't like to feed into those drama narratives but i do feel as if like some type of outside source is going to be trying to mess or f with your vibe virgo something that i'm getting five of pentacles coming in here yeah i feel like there's going to be some type of person coming into your life i no, not coming into your life because they're already in your life but some type of presence in your life that's going to be just trying you basically virgo it's going to be trying you and it's going to be pretty isolating i feel it's almost as if um through this situation you're kind of just like whoa where did this come from right 
and for some reason you feel almost in the sense of being outcasted. Four of Wands, is this because this is showing to me a situation, Virgo, something that you, of an energy that you were going, like, it's almost as if, like, you took a road trip with someone as an analogy, Virgo, and with your best friend. And it's just like halfway through the road trip, they start acting up in a different way. And you're just like, girl, where is this coming from? Right? You're just like, what? Um, they're just acting up five of pentacles. And that forces you to walk away from this road trip early because you're just like, girl, I'm not about this tea. I'm not about this drama here. I don't belong in this, I don't think, anymore. Right? For you, two of wands coming in, talking about looking into the f long distance future with the situation. I almost feel like, uh, Virgo, for you, be prepared for some type of social 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 be prepared for some type of social situation uh coming in of where you're going to be kind of forced to reassess how this person is going to be fitting in your life one last card page of wands in the reverse unfortunately well not unfortunately because this is going to be relieving and making space for people that are more fitting for your energy of course virgo but it is showing to me that a cycle is probably going to be closing off um with somebody um, pretty soon, Virgo, in your life. I feel like someone's going to be trying you and that's like their way of like taking themselves out of your life. Or maybe that's even just like spiritually inclined, right? But let's not just blame spirit for people maybe just acting crazy, darling, right? <laughs> and spirit doesn't have to be involved in that process for people to be crazy, honey. That's for sure. People do that well on their own, aren't you? Isn't that right, Virgo? So, ooh itchy nose now darling let's get into the good things that are in the works for you virgo let's see what your spirit guides are up to for you we have the koi fish spirit beautiful number nine for numerology so write that number down as well there's always enough coming in for you virgo so essentially that you are always this comes in as a message of where you are always going to be taken care of darling you're always going to be taken care of spirit always has your back even during those times virgo of where you're feeling pretty alone you're feeling pretty isolated as the five of pentacles uh you always have people fighting for you you always have people on your side rooting for you virgo so do not give up do not lose faith um you may feel lonely darling right i know it's gonna feel like it's a little bit lonely it may even feel scary right because you may feel as if you don't have that sense of security but um this is not the case koi fish spirit comes in where your spirit cards are quite quite literally telling you that they got your back darling this the devils that are coming in they your spirit guides are revealing these people in your life for good reasons so that way you know we're making space for good people darling see it in this way virgo you you know this is showing to me quite literally i was just saying darling let's not blame people uh your spirit guides for people exposing but yeah five of swords coming in this is showing to me like quite literally your spirit guys putting a spotlight and be like let's show virgo like the crappy people in their life essentially right crappy people and they, they just need to disengage from five of swords being the bigger person notice as i was saying before about like being watched with that reverence and you see the five of swords in this deck um people watching and admiring you in this way virgo you are setting the example you are being the bigger person fierce swords uh coming in in the reverse so beautiful message Virgo in the sense of where it's like spirits has your back during all this you may feel like you're being like you're being super isolated right now you may feel as if you may even be losing hope on humanity and feel like as if there's no good people left in the world that's not true right now Virgo you're going through a cleansing time see this as a blessing in your life because spirits revealing these people now to you so later on they don't have a bigger potentially more negative impact on your life see this as a blessing they're, they're clearing space to allow more uh, beneficial people in your life Virgo so that is the reading that I have for you darling if you enjoyed this let me know in the comments and if you'd like to book a private personal reading with me Virgo my website is simplyvelka.com along with my social media simplyvelka for TikTok Twitter and Instagram all that I love you so much Virgo bye hello my beautiful Capricorn how are you doing my name is Simply Falca, and now we're going to be getting into your spirit guide messages, darling. Let's see what it is that my Capricorns need to be looking out for. What it is my Capricorns need to be working on to continue with their journey. What's going on for my Capricorns? 
All right, we have, uh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this person, this individual's name because I know I'm gonna mess it up, uh, but it's 33 for numerology. Uh, old school numerology, they would probably round this into the six. So right, take it, you, take the number that you feel called to Capricorn and write it down. I'm gonna show the card in the name of it. You can try to pronounce it. I'm not going to embarrass myself right like that and uh, potentially disrespect this beautiful woman's name, but water coming in. So this is foreshadowing uh, Capricorn, the sense of very much so, you know, when you think of water, darling, you think of cleansing, you think of emotions, you think of cups and tarot, right? You're probably gonna have some cups in your reading um, coming in. So definitely a time of be, be buckle up Capricorn. Uh, your emotional, in terms of your emotions, your this is the step. This is what it is that you're going to be currently uh, working on to up leveling, right? So in that sense, you're going to be getting receiving challenges in this way. Nine of Wands, darling. This is the challenge. So you're going to be, you're about to be going into a gauntlet, Capricorn, on. Um, yeah, I just feel like you, it's just in several facets you're going to be tried on in terms of your emotional maturity and how you handle people who are trying to create drama in your life. How you're going to handle heartbreak, how you're going to handle the good things, right? Learning how to accept the love and positivity that you deserve and treatments that you deserve, right? Because again, we think of water and it's cleansing as well. It's not all just about those heavy emotions. It's all about just experiencing the emotions in their fullness so that way you know, I, I fully believe the more depth that you allow in your emotions, that in your experience with those emotions, the better relationship that you have with your emotions, Capricorn, um, the more just mature of a person that you are, the better sense of the world that you have. And just, I don't know, it's a blessing really to be able to feel emotions, taking it, take it from someone that used to not feel any emotions, darling Capricorn. So yeah, this is definitely going to be a time, Capricorn. Don't take this time, especially be, you're gonna probably, I mean, to be honest, Capricorn, right? I can't sugarcoat things. You're probably going to be triggered a lot um, for a while because those you need to be triggered and to be able to see what it is that you need to be working on. So that's just, I have to prep you for that, Capricorn, right? I can't just sell you on a happy dream. Three of Wands in the reverse. This is coming in the sense of maybe some plants unraveling, Capricorn, right? Some plants unraveling in your life and you kind of just have to take it with strength learning to take it on you know take it on the chin and just keep on going right not allowing it to defeat you Capricorn uh, the high priestess card definitely getting better in tune with your intuition you know getting in tune with your spirit guides this is a call out probably for most of you Capricorns on uh, you know connecting to your spirit guides when is the last time that you have connected to your spirit guides Capricorn think about that uh, high priestess card coming in yeah this is more so a time of where you're going to just develop a better relationship and with yourself developing a better relationship with yourself Capricorn as well as just learning what it's like to experience emotions to a deeper level oh, excuse me so now darling Capricorns let's get into the good things that are in the works for you right what good things are in the works for my Capricorns can my spirit, can my spirit guys, can your spirit guys, Capricorn, tell you what good things are in the works for you? All right, we have the seahorse spirit, number eight for numerology, darling. Seahorse spirit says, watch and wait. <laughs> Honey, oh, if I, Capricorn, if I was you, I'd be squinting at my spirit guys, darling. If they gave me this card, watch and wait, I'd be like, girl, are you kidding me? You're telling me to just watch and wait. What do you think I'm doing right now, honey? Right? Oh my gosh. But uh, watch and wait. But it's a beautiful foreshadowing when you think about it, Capricorn, because this is a sign of where uh, you, you're being told, it's just like, watch and wait. We have something planned beautiful for you, right? They wouldn't just tell you to watch and just wait if there was nothing planned, right? Well, I guess maybe some people would be like, secret, like being like, oh, it's your birthday, and then trying to like gather something up, set something up. Two of Cups coming in for the upright for you. Capricorn. So yeah, this is a coming of togetherness. If this is like for some of you, this is going to be a specific message, Capricorn. If you've been waiting, tr been waiting to hear back from somebody, uh, watch and wait and wait for them to, because I feel like there's some time, I'm being shown a nine of pentacles. Uh, I, so I am getting the sense that you guys have been waiting for some type of result on something, waiting for he to hear back from someone. Uh, that's definitely coming in strongly. So yeah, watch and wait for that. Hold on, hold out for that. Don't lose uh, hope. 
we also have the what is this the hermit card coming in um for you now this hermit card I feel like this is kind of in a neutral position for you, Capricorn. This is in a neutral position because I feel like you kind of wanted to come at this naturally, me being a Libra saying, coming at this from a balanced approach of knowing when to put yourself out there, but also knowing when to recluse and go inwardly. I feel like you need to have a better balance, Capricorn, of... Uh... You know, you don't want to just be super high one day and then just off the next day. You want to uh, just be observant and just know when to just break out, when to connect with people, right? When to take that chance. And then we have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, this is kind of just like playing it cool. Playing it cool and entering the party like an hour after it's already started, Capricorn. Right? Play it cool right now. Play the waiting game um, in some type of aspect. Don't be stressing. Don't be trying to make too many changes or altering anything right now. That's not really what's going on, Capricorn. I get this sense of impatience, right? And now I'm being shown the Temperance card. So yeah, you're probably feeling impatient at this time and you know, you're feeling a little bit giddy and you want to just like mess with the uh, mess of things and hopes that's going to change stuff up. Capricorn, don't do that. I feel like you don't want to change up anything. Don't make any changes that are not necessary right now. Um, things are going to be coming up into a nice and beautiful boiling point for you soon. Uh, so don't change things up, for, uh, Capricorn. But uh, yeah, that is the reading that I have for you, Capricorn. If you enjoyed it, give this video a like and subscribe. My, if you'd like to book a private personal reading, Capricorn, my website is simplyvalka.com. I have a listed down below with my social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, is just simplyvalka. I love you so much, Capricorn. Bye. Hello, 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 Aries. Let's get into your messages. Let's see what your spirit guides have to say, Aries. What it is that you need to be working on, what it is that you need to be looking out for, darling. Let's see. We have Ayn, adaptability, number one, right? Number one down for numerology, uh, Aries. And so adaptability, you know, this is you being open to changing things up, changing your approach, Aries. I know even in your weekly horoscope reading, darling, um, this is kind of something I was like hinting at for you guys. So being willing to, uh, in the midst of like losing hope, be being willing to just, going with the flow of things and just taking it in stride not taking things personally uh Aries I do feel like there's this sense of where you need to challenge yourself more um getting out of your comfort zone a lot more queen of cups coming in here uh, yeah breaking out socializing more Cap uh, Capricorn Aries I want my chapstick. Why do I have like 30 chapsticks, Capricorn? Here we go. Yeah, I feel like this sense of you need to like go, go out more. That was another part of your message where you are being pushed, uh, Aries, to really be, I don't know why you keep wanting to call you Capricorn, um, of where there's people out there that you, that you could potentially open up to but because Aries, you're kind of in the sense of where you don't want to be too vulnerable, you don't <laughs> do that. You don't do things that kind of would have people see your true colors in the most, in the highest light, if that makes sense. Not to say that you're bad people, Aries, but it's almost as if you want to be perceived in a certain way and any other way, you're kind of just like, in a more personal way, uh, you're kind of just like, uh, too many emotions, darling, right? And I feel like it's because you don't want to be vulnerable that holds you back a lot. Uh, the moon card coming in in the reverse, darling. So yeah, it's almost this, you, you're uh, you're shying away. Like it's this sense of for a lot of your areas, you're wanting a specific result. You're wanting something to be seen. You're wanting more acknowledgement, but at the same time, you're shying away from the spotlight and being actually seen because of like per the perception of, other, uh, of others and afraid of being judged. Page your swords, afraid of being watched. It's this weird dynamic, Aries, where it's like you want something, but at the same time, like your insecurities are like the direct opposite, where you're just like, no, I don't want to be seen, actually. But actually, I do want to be seen, but I don't want to be seen because I feel ugly or whatever your narrative is. So Aries, definitely take a look at that. I feel like that's really, that's coming in just so repetitively for your messages. And it's like, you really like work on your inhibitions. And <laughs> there's like a Natasha Bedingfield song, right? Like just like letting, breaking your, or letting down your inhibitions and just being yourself dancing to the beat of your own drum stop being so afraid of being perceived in a more vulnerable less imperfect way aries but uh yeah let's see what are what's the good things in the works for my beautiful aries let's see here 
Number seven, coming in, Scare Beetle Spirit. Magic works through you, Aries. So this is definitely a, a card of manifestation. Even if you, Aries, do not do any type of manifestation practices, uh, this is a time of really setting the intent and putting, building the, start putting the building blocks of a very uh, strong foundation. Setting yourself up for success, essentially, is what I'm trying to say, uh, Aries. This is a time of really start putting down those building blocks. Let's continue on. Queen of Swords, really taking the initiative, being more of like the boss at this point. And, you know, Aries, maybe this is the time for you to no longer, you know, I never, I usually don't tell people to do this, Aries, but I feel like maybe you need to crack down on yourself a little bit more, work a little bit harder. Um, but not doing, not working harder on the same things that you've been doing, but uh, working in, uh, like, you know, work, through you breaking through those inhibitions, right? Through that insecurity, putting yourself out there more um, and being, working on being more vulnerable is something that I feel like uh, would just be greatly successful. Because as the Queen of Swords, yeah, it's nice to be perceived in this very powerful way, right? But nothing makes the Queen of Swords even more powerful than when the Queen of Swords shows her vulnerable side as well. Let's see. We have the Six of Swords coming in with the Temperance card. So yeah, for a lot of you Aries, you need to be working on whatever like hurt you in the past that really had added to the sense of insecurity in yourself, uh, Aries. Um, I feel like, you, I don't know if you guys need to go, I'm not gonna tell y'all, doesn't that sound insulting? Oh, y'all need to go see a therapist, Aries. No, um, <laughs> I'm not trying to say that, but I do feel like some type of old, Okay, this car tried to fly out. The hanged man coming in. Yeah, you guys, uh, Aries, need to, like, there's some type of past situation that really hurt your perception on yourself. And until you overcome that perception of yourself, you're limiting yourself so much, Aries. Like, truly, like, imagine, like, how much you would actually be able to succeed if you weren't so in your head and insecure. Truly. So, yeah. I'm going to leave you with that message, Aries. I love you so much. I hope you found some cards that resonated. If you'd like to book a private personal reading with me, my website is simplyvalka.com. Also, my social media is TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. is all just uh, simplyvalka. So I love you so much, Aries. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Leo. So let's get into your spirit guide messages. Let's see what it is that you need to be working on, Leo. Let's see what it is that you need to be looking out for, darling. What's going, what is up for my Leos? What can their spirit guide say? So you guys have number three, my favorite number, I love it. Uh, you guys have Ellen, patterns, looking at the patterns in your life. Uh, Leo, this is definitely breaking patterns, right? Uh, definitely kind of going in theme with your weekly horoscope reading that I've done for you this week as well, of talking about patterns, breaking patterns, and just like going into just new things entirely, Leo. I feel like that's kind of the emphasis for y'all is to really just like breaking these old patterns and adopting new habits. Um, so yeah, all right, these cards are already coming out. So we have the Eight of Cups, yeah. Moving on, Temperance card, having patience and moving out, right? This is breaking old patterns, right? So let us let me just give an analogy, Leo. This is not me telling you to, if you relate to this, to do this, right? Because I'm only going, doing this analogy just to get the message across, not to tell you how you should live your life, honey. Just as a disclosure, right? Um, this is a direct message, Leo, of where it's just like, taking that risk and be like, all right, like, I don't want to work for the nine to five anymore. I have to take this risk, right? To uh, break those old patterns in your life where it's just like having like that employee mindset or what have you, right? So you quit that job, take that risk, eight of cups, even though it provided stuff for you and you are going on this long journey, temperance card, having this patience um, to adopt something entirely new. Six of wands, which this new thing would be direct success. This is the card of victory. This is the card of public spotlight, Leo. So it shows to me through you taking that risk, right, as the Eight of Cups, right, and you being patient and 
bearing this journey, right? Being, uh, dealing with like the obstacles that it takes to um, get to that success, right? Through you breaking these old patterns that kept you in the place that you were at before, Leo, this gets you into the Six of Wands success, right? This is literally, I tell you, I want to tell you, Leo, to look up the meaning of this card, right? Look up the definition so you know I'm not just like blowing smoke up here, you know what, right? Um, truly, it shows to me like through you taking a risk, Leo, you get greatly rewarded for it, right? Now you have that temperance card, so it shows to me that it's not like an overnight success. I have to be honest, right? So it's you having to bear the storm. There's like some level of patience you have to exude, but it pays off, essentially. So let's now get into your messages, Leo. What are the good things in the works for you? And you have the peacock spirit coming in here. Let it shine. Number one for numerology. So write that number down. Uh, so, Leo, this is a time of really standing out. This is kind of in th on theme with your six of wands. When you think about it, public spotlight, letting it shine. Having this be in the good things, this really hones into this message as well of where it's like through you taking that risk, that's like the good things in the works, right? You get noticed for my Leos that are like, you know, trying to like, that are involved in like social media trying to be seen very powerful five of cups coming in confirming again where it's like the sense of where it's like some disappointment right this doesn't come without some uh, some level of disappointment right maybe some of the stuff that you put out there initially maybe kind of just like underwhelming results right but overall it's leading to something beautiful yeah four of cups i do feel like you're going to have a couple times where you fall off that horse leo right i can't paint you a story to a uh, story fairy tale um but yeah, you fall off that horse a few times, right? That's why you have that temperance card coming in. But overall, empress card comes in. This really builds you, this molds you into, be, into being this powerful, beautiful being, right? That really sets you up for success, right? So those times that you fell off that horse, that was to build you up to be something very powerful, Leo. So take that message as you will, um, letting it shine. You have a lot of, for my Leos are trying to be, you know, popular, famous, darling, social media. If you have a YouTube, darling, I really anticipate you guys really taking off um, <laughs> pretty soon, right? So just be working on that. But those are the messages that I have for you, Leo. If you enjoyed this reading, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe. Also, I do private personal readings with simplyvalkyrie.com. If you want to check that out, I have it linked down below with my social medias, TikTok, Instagram, all that. It's just Simply Valka. I love you so much, Leo. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Let's get into your spirit guide messages. What is it that my Sagittarius need to be working on? What is it that they need to be looking out for? You guys have, I do not know how to pronounce this name, Dementor? I know it's not probably Dementor. Demeter? Honey, you read it, darling. Number 11 for numerology. So write that number down to look up at a later point. Sagittarius, I believe you even got that in your weekly horoscope reading. Number 11. Um, Nurturer. So you guys are even, yeah, this is confirming what you guys got in your weekly horoscope reading. If you haven't watched it, I suggest you watching it. Um, this is definitely you nurturing things that you already had to focus on. Now I know uh, for you, I say this so confidently, Sagittarius, because I pulled that Ace of Wands for you in your weekly uh, reading. So I know there's something, some type of new project that you just started sinking your teeth into where you know you're just getting your bearings with something and this is in this place of just nurturing that even further putting more energy into that um Sagittarius so right off the bat I feel like this is what your spirit guides are just telling you to do but um let's see darling right let's see we can be continuing right, this card wanted to come out tower card darling tower card coming in so this is coming in as this message almost a sense of uh i have to let y'all know uh sagittarius like if you haven't if you this is me you'll know if this has already happened or not because if you if you haven't recently had the your entire like life turned upside down, it's gonna be coming, right? And <laughs> to for you to find your Ace of Wands moment, right? To have this, because that was the thing, like even in your weekly reading, it was all about new energy, right? You're focusing on all new things. So if you um, are still stuck on old things, Tower card coming in. But I feel like for most Sagittarius, you already had the rug swept up from under you. So 
Then we have the Six of Wands coming in here right after the fact. So that's that victory card. That's that spotlight card, success card coming in for you, Sagittarius. So it shows like confirms as and continues to confirm like as you have like that tower moment, things breaking down, you finding this new focused new project to hone in on that leads to success, right? Nine of Pentacles, especially for my self-employed uh, Sagittarius's, right? This is a beautiful message for my Sagittarius's that like are picking up a new business idea, um, picking up new projects to try to monetize off of Sagittarius. Granted, not everything has to be about money, darling, right? Um, but this is just an overall, just like this sense of like, even the Nine of Pentacles just represents just very much so contentment uh, with where it, what it is that you're doing. Six of Wands just talks about overall just victory and success. So, yeah, this is all just associated with quite literally just continuing nurturing to my Sagittarius as I already had their tower moment, nurturing um, the things that came of that tower moment. And for those that haven't Sagittarius, buckle up. But it's, um, you can get some, maybe in the comments below, get some Sag other fellow Sagittarius support and then like that already have been through that moment to help uplift you, darling. So let's get into the good things that are in the works for you right now, Sagittarius. And the giraffe spirit. I, I'm positive you got this in your weekly reading, Sagittarius. And this is number 11 as well, 29 equaling to 11. So a double 11 coming in for you. So I would definitely say you probably have been seeing some very strong signs from your spirit guides uh, recently, Sagittarius. Um, definitely let me know what signs they've been. Has it been animals? Has it been fairies? Fairies have feathers. <laughs> um, has it been in your dreams? I feel like you've had some very powerful spiritual moments, even if they only lasted a couple seconds um, recently. But the giraffe spirit says seeing the big picture. So definitely laying the foundation for um, the long term for your future, whatever this project is. So we have the Hermit card coming in here. So you're definitely going to be focusing all your energy into this for a while. Uh, Knight of Swords as well. Yeah, this is really going to be like one of those things of where Sagittarius, yeah, strength card as well. You're this through this new journey that you're going to be going on, it's going to be rough. You're going to be having a lot of highs, a lot of lows, but you're probably going to be feeling the most alive that you've ever have felt as well, Sagittarius. A lot of you guys are going to be going through some very strong character building experiences at this time. And so you're gonna just probably feel the most adulty that you ever have felt in your life, Sagittarius, uh, during this time, but you're gonna be happy. You're gonna be extremely happy. You're gonna be extremely fulfilled because you're seeing the big picture. You're building, you're putting the building blocks for something long-term and yeah. So that is the reading that I have for you, Sagittarius. If you enjoyed this reading, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to book a private personal reading with me, my website is simplyvelka.com along with my social medias, TikTok and Instagram, Twitter is all just Simply welcome. Thank you so much, Sagittarius. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Libra. Let's get into your spirit guide messages. Let's see what it is that you need to be looking out for, Libra. What it is that you need to be potentially working on in yourself. Let's see what your spirit guides have to say, darling. All right? Let's see what spirit messages they have to say to you, Libra. All right, number 10 in new, numerology, or one for numerology, rather. Uh, Danu, 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 assistance or assurance uh, coming in for you. So I'm going to have to be honest here, Libra. I'm going to have to just be pulling some clarifiers right off the bat for this, because assurance, I feel like, is such a vague message. But I do feel like overall, um, you're going to be getting assurance in some type of situation, right? I do feel oddly comforted in this message. And yeah, King of Pentacles coming in. So some aspect of your life, uh, Libra, that you've been feeling has been pretty unstable. For a lot of you guys, I mean, naturally, the easy route is going to be talking about finances, right? Because King of Pentacles, Pentacles representing coins coins equaling money honey um if you guys have been feeling unsure in that type of way i feel like this is a good omen coming in for you um but you kind of have to ride out that ride out that storm a little bit more and also being honest with yourself uh libra the devil coming in anytime this devil comes in this is a sense of you know looking at your spending habits looking at how you're making your money right are you working hard enough right 
you're searching for assurance in some type of way to have like a little bit more stability in your life, Libra. But are your actions feeding into this more positive narrative or, you know, are you essentially setting yourself up for success? Are you setting yourself up to fail? Right? Six of Swords coming in as well. Some of you guys, Libra, are not wanting to let go of certain habits, certain uh, people in your life if the devil does represent people. But overall, there is this overall message. How many times can I say overall? <laughs> Libra, there is this message really of where it's just like... <sighs> the assurance that you're wanting is attached to the actions that you personally take, Libra. Um, I have to be honest, right? Because the King of Pentacles, the King, King of Pentacles talks about the Midas touch, but you're the one that's touching it that makes it gold, right? You have to be the one taking action on it to create that stability. Your spirit guides are trying to provide that assurance to you that it's okay, that you're maybe even capable of doing that, right? But you have to, you know, this could be insecurity. This devil card could be just insecurity. Some of you guys maybe just like, for my self-employed Libras, right? Maybe just the idea of making money just is uncomfortable comfortable to you. Maybe charging for your services makes you uncomfortable, right? You have to do away with the six of swords. There is something, there's some, some, that devil card, just ask yourself the question, Libra, what is that devil to you? You will know it best, right? I feel like it, especially with general readings, it's just so universal. Uh, it's just like, it can be anything for anyone, right? It's not going to just be like all Libras at this time have the same issue, right? So let's see what good things are in the works for you, Libra. Let's see what your spirit guides are cooking up for you, honey. Oh, Libra. So I have this personal spirit guide story that I have to get up at some point. So y'all aren't gonna get this and why I'm like getting emotional for it. But uh, quick rundown, I'm a Libra. <laughs> Plot twist. I think I even said at the beginning. I always say it too. Um, my spirit guide, Ambrosia, who I connected to at one point, but ended up saying goodbye to. Um, always first came to me as a starfish. So seeing this makes me really happy. Um, 59 for numerology, um, equaling to five. So write down the number five. Oh, y'all, I'm about to be crying. <laughs> um, open to infinite possibilities. So Libra, ooh, <laughs> I did not anticipate this impacting me so much, hello? So Libra, when you take the message of open to infinite possibilities, we have the seven of swords. So there is some type of situation in your life, um, something that you really probably started losing hope on, where you're just like, ah, oh, is this really just meant for me? And is this just not my calling, right? Believe in the possibility that it's actually going to be happening. Um, I, this does show to me that you're going to be getting some type of sign that you, what it is that you're doing actually is really meant for you. We have the chariot card coming in as well, confirming to you that you are on the right path, Libra, right? And there's going to definitely be some type of assuring sign probably coming in that what it is that you're doing is actually going to pay off, right? You may be going through a little bit of a dry spell, a little bit of a struggle, right? For the seven of swords to come, there is this sense of feeling overwhelmed and just like, you're not feeling very confident in some type of situation, right? And then you have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, this is what you're having anxiety about. You won't have this anxiety for too much longer, Libra, right? You're going to be getting some assur an assuring sign. You're going to be getting something that really reaffirms why it is that you're doing what it is that you're doing, right? Um, so be open to the infinite possibilities. Don't feel as if that you need to call it quits just yet. And don't feel as if you have to wash your hands clean of the situation quite yet. So those are the cards that I have for you, Libra. I, if you enjoyed this reading, let me know in the comments below. I also do private personal readings. My website is just simplyvelka.com if you'd like to check that out. I leave it linked in the comments and description below along with my social media, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. It's just simply Velka Darling. I love you so much, Libra. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Gemini. Let's get into your spirit guide messages. Let's see what your spirit guides have to say to you, what it is that my Geminis need to be looking out for, and what it is that they need to be working on in themselves, potentially. Let's see what your spirit guides have to say, Gemini. So you guys have Hecate coming in for you. Number two for numerology, uh, the in-between, Gemini, right? So you guys are in the middle of a big transition in your life. I know this more so from your weekly hors horoscope reading as well. 
Hecate comes in with the message of where, reminding you that you're in the transition with something. So you're not in the home stretch just yet, um, Gemini. So don't relax your shoulders quite yet. Don't slouch quite yet. Anything is possible still. The cards came flying out, so Hecate is coming in very strongly. A lot of you guys may identify uh, Hecate as a very personal mentor in your life. Seven of Cups with the Hermit card coming in. So, uh, Gemini, definitely with the Knight of Cups as well. Choices are going to have to be made, uh, Gemini. You're not at the final stretch yet. You can't rest easy quite yet, as much as you're getting this desire to. Knight of Cups comes in, it almost comes in of where it's like, this Knight of Cups is probably going to complicate things, right? So, Seven of Cups comes in as this indecision, not, sure, not quite sure which color to take, right, darling, in this rainbow. Oh, I love this artwork for this card. Um, um, in this deck, um, very creative. Uh, but yeah, I feel like this Knight of Cups complicates things. Not in a bad way, but uh, it just it changes things up. So that's why you can't really quite necessarily rest easy quite yet, Gemini. Um, so don't, you know, this is not really a bad message. It's just more so in the sense of where it's just like, you know, keep it up. Don't, don't, don't start going easy on your work now. Don't start, um, slacking off now not saying that you are slacking off gemini because there's still going to be something coming in a curveball being thrown into your life uh so yeah let's see what good things are in the works for you though gemini let's see what your spirit guides have in the works for you uh, all right so you guys have the dove spirit number three coming in in numerology uh so this card says be at peace be at peace all right let's get some clarifiers on this gemini why do we have this Be at Peace card coming in for you? All right, these cards came out. Eight of Swords, the Fool card, and the Queen of Wands. A new chapter is going to be coming in uh, for you. I feel like that Knight of Cups uh, that we talk about in your four, um, in your previous spread, uh, Gemini, this is in the sense of where it's going to help break you free, give you the sense of breaking free. I don't know if you guys have been feeling stuck in your financial situation or if you've been feeling stuck in your environment. Something's going to be coming, that Knight of Cups is going to be coming in as a curveball where you weren't expecting it, but it com comes in where it's like a potential new chapter in your life where you can really, Queen of Wands, set yourself free and really go after this new passion, right? And you feel good about it. And this breaks you from this Eight of Swords uh, situation where you feel trapped and stuck in where it is you're currently at. So big changes. Really for you guys, uh, Gemini, you have a lot of big changes foreshadowed in your life. Um, so definitely keep, uh, let me know. Keep. Uh, I want to keep tabs and make sure that my Geminis are good and handling all the chaos in their life because I know you guys are just like going through some chaotic time. It may not be all bad, honey, but it's just like a lot of stress that you guys are probably under just because there's just so many moving parts, Gemini. But uh, that's the reading that I have for you, honey. I hope you found this reading helpful. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe, Gemini. Also, I do private personal reading, simplyvelka.com. I leave it linked down below in the comments as well with my social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, it's just Simply Velka. So I love you so much, Gemini. Hopefully I can connect with you later. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Let's get into your spirit guide messages. Let's see what it is that you, Aquarius, need to be looking out for. Let's see what it is that you need to be uh, working on in yourself, potentially as well. So you have, I'm not going, Metis, Metis, I'm not going to try to pronounce it, I guess I already did. Uh, 35, uh, so 8 for numerology, and wisdom as well for this card. So, uh, I forget which other sign got the wisdom, um, wisdom card as well, but um, for you, Aquarius, I know in me putting up this reading, it's just uh, like a week before the full moon, your full moon. Uh, Aquarius, so there's this is definitely going to be a very enlightening time, things being illuminated in your life. Uh, we have the Four of Cups, things being illuminated, but it's going to be kind of like a disappointment kind of thing. Uh, definitely Page of Cups. So yeah, it feels to me there's going to be very much so like this super highs and lows <laughs> for you where it's like it's almost as if uh, Aquarius one part of one facet of your life is going really well but then there's this other facet that's going to be bleeding out a little bit and having some struggles <laughs> for you 
uh, King of Swords in the reverse for you. Something to be watching out for, Aquarius, is just making sure that you do not allow this to be mental, like this Four of Cups situation to take too much of a mental toll on your life because keeping in mind Page of Cups coming in as um, new opportunities, new people coming into your life, just new energy overall as the page um, being that representation. But I do really concern myself and you spirit guides are kind of concerned, Aquarius, just in terms of like how you will manage yourself with um, the hurdles, the obstacles being that are going to be thrown into your life pretty soon. That's going to be kind of revealing things. For some of you guys, it's going to be like some very revealing behaviors and people that kind of shock you. You're like, oh girl, you act this way. You know, like you go out to eat with someone and, it's like, and they're disrespectful to the waiter and you're just like, honey, I see that right? What? Um, Eight of Wands coming in in the reverse. Some of you guys that have to be honest might be getting uprooted. You might be, because this is the card of movement, um, you might be moving away, like being uprooted from your current situation. And that can obviously be what would be taking a toll. That would be really stressful for me, honey. Um, <laughs> but Page of Cups, this is again, still in the sense of like, even if you, as that analogy, I'm not saying y'all losing your home. That's just like the first example that came to my mind, Aquarius, so don't stress out. Um, you know, if you end up, you know, having some movement in your home life, right, where you have to change spaces or where you're living, um, maybe your new neighbors actually end up being like your, being part of your soul tribe, honey, right? Look at it, look at it in that way. So now, Aquarius, let's see what are the good blessings that your spirit guides are working out for you. Let's see here. We have the dolphin spirit coming in, number two for numerology. This card says, this and that are true. All right, let me get some clarifiers on this, honey, because I'm not quite sure this and that are true. This is really kind of like a situation where there's not a really a wrong choice, yeah? Nine of wands in the reverse. All right, so for you, Aquarius, it feels like there's like a decision you could be making. Um, being, I'm showing a fork, being shown like literally like a fork that you eat with. So maybe you guys are feeling like there's like a fork in the road, a lot of options that you could be going down. Eight of pentacles in the reverse with the five of swords in the upright. So yeah, it's almost like Aquarius, there's this sense of where you're feeling paralyzed and not wanting to really take action because you don't want to do this the wrong way. You don't want to mess up, right? And so because there's this such a strong desire and not making the wrong choice, um, you end up making like the only wrong choice and that's like not making a decision really at all. Um, because you care so much about not making the wrong choice. Just kind of like that sense of paralysis by over analysis message, right? You kind of just have to do it, uh, Aquarius. There's no wrong choice. Only wrong choice is you just not doing anything, not be to being of action, not being in movement. Um, so yeah, you can't really go wrong with how you approach something, Aquarius. But as the reading that I have for you, Aquarius, if you enjoy this reading, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe. I also do private personal readings. My website's simplyvelka.com. Com Aquarius. I have it linked down below in the comments as well as the description with my social medias. TikTok, Twitter, Instagram is all just simply Velka, honey. But I love you so much, Aquarius. Bye. Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing? So let's get into your spirit guide messages. Let's see what it is that you guys need to be looking out for, Scorpio, and what it is that you need to be working on with yourself, potentially. Let's see. So you guys have seven, Kali, 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 uh, liberation. So, um, Scorpios, you guys are being, I've been saying in your weekly readings for a while now, honey, that you guys need to be working on your vulnerability. Um, and it's showing to me that this is kind of like the call out again, liberation, the sense of freedom and allowing yourself to um, be yourself, right? As corny of a message as that might sound to some Scorpios, right? There's this simply just like just giving yourself permission to just be and to just really living in your highest potential. Kind of similar to Aries reading in a way of where they Aries got a message, Scorpio, where it's like releasing their inhibitions, um, but they didn't get Kali. Kali, why am I saying Kali? Uh, Four of Pentacles. So this is definitely talking about like being willing to have the confidence to invest your pentacles into specific situations, right? For whatever your reason is, it feels like you're holding out. Queen of Cups coming in. Yeah, vul vulnerable. Literally being vulnerable. This is a similar, very similar message to Aries, being like vulnerable to other people, not being afraid of investing your pentacles in other people. 
sorry, I'm not trying to burp in front of y'all, Scorpio. I'm not trying to belch while I'm giving out this powerful message, honey. Um, but yeah, you guys are it's such a message where it's like, don't be afraid of um, being vulnerable, investing in people in your life, Scorpio. Um, Ace of Swords coming in. Yeah, with your new ideas, I feel like this is a really good time for you to be collaborating right now, uh, Scorpio. This is a really good time for you to just have be open to other people's insights being open to just collaboration hearing other people's thoughts on your ideas and yeah truly just don't be afraid of letting people in is just the main message scorpio don't be afraid of allowing people to come into your life um and having some type of input on things that you're wanting to do and trying to do projects with people don't be afraid of that uh yeah so let's see now scorpio what are the good things that your spirit guides are in the works for you what do they have in the works for my Scorpios? What do their spirit guides have in the works for them? So we have six in numerology, the Sandpiper spirit. Be playful right now, Scorpio. So definitely with that, it's kind of in that same message with liberation and just allowing yourself to have fun. Um, now you have the Emperor card coming out as well. No, honey, I had... Honey... <laughs> Am I crazy? Was I just like shown the Emperor card in my vision? And it's the High Priestess, hello? Okay, <laughs> that's weird. Um, so, the High Priestess card coming, that just threw me off. I'm still gonna bring up the Emperor cards. I just literally feel like I saw the Emperor. Um, so being playful, High Priestess and the Emperor card. I feel like really for a lot of you Scorpios, you guys have such a grand idea for something, but it's just like the sense of like, not really throwing yourself into the deep end. There's still like this protective barrier as the high priestess being guarded, not wanting to be perceived by others necessarily or being fully seen in some way, but still taking action. I feel like you kind of need to like, loosen up a little bit scorpio um you know unbutton your pants <laughs> that sounds weird and uh, weird like i was just like trying to relax right you know i say the unbutton your pants scorpio in the sense of where it's just like you know you eat a lot of food time to just like unbutton your pants and just like vibe out like on thanksgiving now i like i'm like freaking out trying to explain myself and my thought process let's just move on from this let's move on from this I <laughs> oh my gosh so we have the Knight of Swords as well as the World card coming in for you. Yeah, overall, Scorpio, this is just a, such a direct message of where... <sighs> this is just a message of just truly... Because the Knight of Swords, this is such an internal thing where it's like you could have like so similar to Aries, um, but I didn't use that weird analogy. Um, where it's just like you could be making so much ground uh, Scorpio, but like your internal, like your mental is really holding you back. Um, be more playful. Don't be, you know, this is giving me such a vibe of where it's just like, you know, when people, when there's kids around and there's certain people and like they ask like adults to play and there's like those adults that like can't play with kids because they're, they don't want to look silly. They're afraid of being silly around kids or just in general being perceived as silly, right? And you know, it's just like, come on, come on now, loosen up, be more playful. Uh, Scorpio. But that is the reading that I have for you, Scorpio. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comments below if you did. Um, I do private personal readings as well. Uh, Scorpio, it's just simplyvalco.com. I leave it linked down below in the comments and description along with my social medias. TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, it's just simplyvalco. I love you so much, Scorpio. Hello, my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing? So let's get into your spirit guide messages. What's, oh, mm, okay. Uh, your spirit guide messages, let's see what it is that you need to be looking out for, what it is that you need to be working on, Cancer. And this card came flying out. Persephone, Persephone. Girl, you know who, who this is. You can read. <laughs> Six in numerology. Uh, this card is an experience. So definitely you guys are Cancer going to be going into a new journey or at the very least getting out of your comfort zone. Some of you Cancers may have, been pick may have recently picked up a new job recently. Uh, other of you may have picked up a new project, Cancer. But whatever the case is, you feel like you're out of your elements. But this is something that you need to really be thriving in. Uh, cancer. This is something that needs to be exciting you rather than deterring you. It's 
something that I'm getting. Uh, six of Wands, because this is gonna be successful, honey. Look up the meaning of this card. This is the card of success. This is the card of victory. This is the card of spotlight, public spotlight for my cancers that are trying to be seen and trying to be noticed, right? Um, it's through this, like, it's through, like, new energy overall, through your inexperience that, like, through you delving deeper into this and not just, like, deucing out from it just because it's uncomfortable like you get that success two of pentacles right you this is the sense of where it's like straight up cancer you have to like it's gonna be pretty overwhelming right um maybe for some of you guys maybe you got promoted right you have a more of a sense of responsibility and it's just a lot for you queen of pentacles but it's gonna be profitable man like cancer like in terms like i don't know what this is about for y'all but it's like it's showing to me like through y'all stepping out of your comfort zone with something and you actually like writing it out rather than being like after being a, after a week of discomfort you're just like mm, i don't want to do this anymore and you wash your hands clean of it cancer if you actually choose to ride this out and fully commit to this even with all the chaos um, that it is even with like this new sense of responsibility it may be it's going to be super profitable to you cancer it's really you're it's going to pay off so let's get into your spirit guide messages cancer in terms of what it is that's in the works for you what blessings do your spirit guides have so number one for numerology the lion spirit coming in be generous of spirit right now. So when is the last time that you have connected to your spirit guides, uh, Cancer? When's the last time you left an offering, honey, for your spirit guides, right? We can want all these things in our life, right? But I feel like a lot of people don't think about giving thanks to the spirits in our lives, right? Giving thanks to our ancestors, giving thanks to our spirit guides and angels, right? Leave offerings, right? If you want things, if you want things, it's only natural to just like give something and show a token of your appreciation as well let's see here we have the four of cups coming in here with the magician card coming in and then the king of cups coming in so you're gonna be uh straight up cancer i have to be honest with you this is a message of where it's just like you have to learn to be grateful for the opportunity and not necessarily re the result of something right off the bat, right? This is something where it's going to be like a trial and error thing where it's like, you may not get, you may not get perfected the first time, you may not perfect it the second or third time, honey. But at some point, like if you continue writing it out, right, and not allowing it to be, you know, getting in your head, it's going to pay off. Uh, <laughs> straight up cancer. Really, your biggest, like struggle will be just like you maintaining and maintaining that consistency you practicing that willpower i feel cancer not a direct call out just an observation honey so those are the cards that i have for you those are your spirit guide messages cancer if you enjoy this reading let me know in the comments below give this video a like and subscribe uh if you'd like to book a private personal reading with me cancer my website is just simply valka.com i leave it linked in the description and comments below along with my social medias tiktok twitter instagram it's just simply valka i love you so much cancer bye hello my beautiful pisces how are you doing so let's get into your spirit guide messages. Let's see what's in the works for my beautiful Pisces. Let's see, actually, no, we're not doing what's in the works for you guys. We're gonna be seeing what it is that you guys need to be looking out for, Pisces. What do your spirit guides want to tell you? So you guys have Spider Woman, number three in numerology, so write down three. My favorite number, co-creation. Um, so this is a card of collaboration, Pisces. This is a card of where you're not being afraid of working on a team um, with other people. This is a card of where it's like, I feel like you would benefit from doing collaborations at this time, Pisces. Um, you know, in including other people in your projects, including uh, different perspectives, I feel like you would benefit from. But here's the thing though, as a spider queen or a spider woman, this is the individual who, like, you know, helped building a web, a lot, a big web of that would pay off in the long run. So naturally you would want potentially other uh, spiders, right? Other people, other collaborators who relate to you in some type of way or have, or like your skill talents, like complement other people's skill talents, if that makes sense. Um, so let's get some clarifiers on this. Ten of Wands, this is your biggest struggle though, Pisces, is including other people, being social, right? 
That's the biggest hurdle, struggle for a lot of people, honey, is just uh, asking other people to be like, oh, hey, are you interested in this? Do you want to do this with me or, you know, whatever, right? But I really feel like you don't want to be afraid of connecting with other people, working with other people, six of cups coming in here. Maybe look at people from your past um, for you. But I don't, I don't even feel like it's, because the six of cups talks about like past energy. Um, so always consider like those long-standing connections that you might have that you have history with. But I feel like this is more so in a sense of where it's like once you release this baggage on um, where it's like um, being afraid of like connecting and working with other people, six of, cups, six of Cups comes in as a message of like opportunities coming to you. I really do feel like the next step for a lot of you Pisces, because I know this has come up for your weekly readings for me for a while, where it's like you would get greatly rewarded through like team effort. Uh, Ace of Swords coming in, creative ideas. This is like really just like a collaboration of just fellow creatives, Pisces, <laughs> truly. So if there are like any type of projects that you want to do, consider including other people on it because that they would help build like a very powerful web um, collective together. So take that as you will, uh, Pisces. That is the advice that you're getting from your spirit guides though. But let's see what, what good things are in the works for you, Pisces. Let's see what good things are in the works from you for you from your spirit guides. What's going on for my Pisces and the good things in the works for them? The squirrel spirit, number three as well. So three twice for you guys. So definitely write down the number three. Believing in yourself. What a corny message. A I wasn't until honey, y'all the last reading Pisces and I'm being so goofy at this point, but acorn the corny message. Believe in yourself. Let's just move on before I can't have a field day with that. Um, believing in yourself, right? So you Pisces seem to be like you want something, but you don't feel like it would actually happen. Very much so a star experience. Seven of Swords. In the reverse, the lover's card in the upright, as well as the tower card coming in. So truly, uh, Pisces, there is this sense here of where I feel like you guys need to take a risk, Pisces. And maybe that risk is associated with like working with other people. Uh, if it is, maybe you guys didn't need to send, shoot your shot, right? Send out that risky resume, right? To that one corporation, that one business that you always like wanted to work at, but then you always tell yourself, oh, there's no way that they would actually take me or whatever. And like, no, do it, right? Um, I feel like it would be pay off very well. Six of Cups, it would make very much so sense for those people in that dynamic, right? In terms of collaboration, because Six of Cups talk, talks about offers being given to you. Um, and so, yeah, I really feel like that's just like the next part of your path, Pisces. So I really would be interested in hearing about like how this progresses for you guys down the road. Like, I really don't feel like, I really feel like you guys are like about to be doing something really powerful, like on a team. I feel like you guys, Pisces, would just thrive in a team environment with like fellow creatives um, or just fellow people, not, not be creative. I just use the word creative because of the Ace of Swords. Just like-minded people that you can work on the same goal you have the same goal in terms of creating something right so uh yeah pisces that's the reading that i have for you if you enjoyed this reading let me know in the comments below give this video a like and subscribe and then also pisces i do personal private readings my website's linked down below simplyvelka.com uh if you'd like to follow my social medias as well tiktok instagram twitter all linked down below as well simplyvelka but i love you so much pisces thank you so much 